My name's John Hicklin and I'm the founding director of a company in Barnsley, South Yorkshire called The Glass Onion Vintage and we're a retailer and wholesaler of vintage fashion. So I started the business when I was at uh, university in uh, the early 2000s and what I'd do is I'd travel around charity shops in Sheffield collecting vintage clothing and then selling that on eBay then just to earn a bit of extra cash on the side. We then decided to um, start doing markets we thought there's, there's something in this in, in this business. So we, we painted out my grandma's coal shed and we used that as his first first base and that were in around 2005, so it would mean a friend of mine. Uh, from there we take the stock and we go and do markets and, and trade on on eBay. And it was around that time that I thought it was a real opportunity to like build, build a career out of it. So we set out then to, to build Glass Onion and we're here today then with a team of uh, 62 people and we sort and grade 20,000 kilos a week of vintage clothing and we've developed a sewing factory on site which produces over 12,000 pieces per month for the high street and it's all remaking and re remanufacturing old clothing, used clothing. My vision for Glass Onion is to be the go-to retailer for responsible fashion. So we want to recycle and remanufacture exciting products for us customers who are aged between 18 and, and 30 generally. Responsible fashion for me is thinking more about your purchases and thinking about the environmental and social impact that, that each purchase has. So it's like where, where are the, where's your clothing made, how is it made, what materials is it using and what's going to happen to that product after it's been made and manufactured. So responsible fashion for me is just taking responsibility for the, the clothing that we buy because it's, it's really difficult for people to be completely sustainable when it comes to fashion because fashion by its very nature is not sustainable. But I think taking responsibility and making better purchases is something that we can all actively do and Glass Onion's mission is to look at new exciting ways of recycling products, whether that be regrading used clothing and finding little gems for us customers that they can, they can buy again and give a new lease of life, or that's finding things that's been damaged and broken that we can send up to our sewing factory and then remake those into like new, new products and give them a, a new lease of life. Each and every piece that comes into this building has been saved from landfill. So recycling's a big part of what we do, it's in as DNA as a business and it's what we're really passionate about. What we're looking to do with the net zero is to look at ways to work on the things that um, are outside of us DNA, things like shipping, new machinery that's going to help us re recycle more, looking at getting specific standards set in place. We're looking to establish standards which is going to really push us into a more sustainable future and help us achieve the goals that's been set out for, for 2050. Um, and I think that there's so much that we can be doing outside of the DNA of the company and recycling, whether it be with couriers, whether it be with the, the partners that we use, the standards that we bring in and the machinery that can help us process. Glass Onion started with just a couple of people. So one of the challenges early on was finding enough product, raw product, uh, recycled clothing, to fulfil the orders that we had. And I was finding products that were perfectly uh, well, like grade A quality, but I was finding a lot that were really damaged. And, and when I looked into what was happening to them, a lot of that were, were going into landfill. So what we started to do is remake the clothing. So we take damaged items with rips on the sleeve or stains and we'd, we'd, we'd cut them up and make new products from them. We started working with a, a local factory in, in Rotherham and we, we started then making remade products for the high street. During that time then, we looked at ways to introduce a zone factory and create a zone factory. And I was lucky enough to meet a lady called Sue Wilkinson, who's now retired. And Sue had years and years of experience because she worked in uh, SR Gents. And SR Gents were in Barnsley and Rotherham and they employed 13,000 people in the area. 
and they were making clothing for a big high street chain. And that were all closed down in the late 90s, early 2000s, as that production moved out to the Far East. So during that time then, um, Sue uh, went to work in Turkey, China, all over, and I, I was lucky enough to meet her and say, right, Sue, we're wanting to set up a sewing factory in, in Barnsley, start creating jobs, getting people back on sewing machines, and we want in this factory to be focused around remaking uh, vintage clothing. We're taking damaged clothing that's going to be going into landfill and making new really great garments that customers are going to absolutely love. And that was Sue's mission and she just absolutely nailed it. And within a few short years then, um, we, we got a factory set up, we got a technical team, we got designers in, and we're making then up to 12,000 garments per month then for the, for the high street um, in South Yorkshire, creating jobs and opportunities for people who've got that skill that had worked in companies like SR Gents but also those people helping train up the younger people and to um, to get on a sewing machine and get, get producing and we're really excited about bringing uh, sewing back to the UK to South Yorkshire and to get in, uh, getting young people on sewing machines and trained up is a big part of the future and most importantly the recycling as well. So each, each piece that they're working in the factories um, was destined for landfill. So we're making great products, we're employing in the community and um, we're, we're training, up, training up young people. Recycling and sustainability is part of Glass Onion's DNA. It's what we do, it's at the core of the business, core of the values of people that work in this business. And it was through an introduction from Kevin Steele at the business, Barnsley Business Village. He um, introduced us to Net Zero and talked about the, the benefits of how that could help us as a business. And that's why we choo chose to um, start working in Net Zero. The thing that interests me most about Net Zero is the carbon calculator. So it's looking at what we emit as a business and getting, that, getting metrics on that. Because we find that if, if, we've got, if we've got clear metrics, we know exactly where we are as a business, what, what damage we're doing, they're then things that we can work on uh, to improve. Because I don't, I don't think it's good enough that we, we sit back and um, hang us hat on the, or we, we recycle and we do this and we do that. We need to be looking at every aspect of the business and how we're going to make that all better. We're in the very early stages of his journey with uh, Net Zero. So just today we've had our uh, coaching session with uh, Simon where we're looking at how we're going to deliver the, the outcomes that we've, we've set ourselves, which is centred around um, looking at machinery, looking at new standards and looking at ways then to, uh, to, to promote and market what we do. And Simon's coming in to really help with that. So the key things that we're going to be working on throughout the programme of Net Zero are introducing environmental or sustainable standards and getting them integrated into his daily business. Um, we're going to be looking at machinery that's going to help us cut down the waste even more. So that's after it's been uh, processed in the sewing factory, we still get off cuts and there's ways of packaging that up to send on to other recycle companies. And also look at ways to, to market and promote what we do because recycling is a big part of what we do and I think we need to be, we need to be speaking and showing people about how we operate as a business, how we're employing people in the community and we need to be uh, talking about that more than we, we do currently. So at Glass Onion we're looking to bring back manufacturing to the UK but more specifically to, to Barnsley, South Yorkshire. South Yorkshire's got a heritage of um, skilled machinists, sewing machinists, so we've, we're starting to, uh, we started to recruit those machinists get them back on the sewing machines and they're now recycling products uh, in, in Barnsley, South Yorkshire and those products are now sold all, all over the world. So we'll, we'll wholesale products to high street stores across the US. So I've been lucky enough to be in New York and see products in, in these big department stores in New York that have been manufactured here in, uh, here in Barnsley and recycled here in Barnsley. Every product is hand selected, designed and, and manufactured in under one roof here in, in Barnsley, South Yorkshire and that's um, a big part of his vision for the future, how we grow that factory, how we uh, create more jobs in the community and how we get people uh, recycling and preventing products going in, into landfill. So here at Glass Onion our raw product is used clothing. So every, every last piece of, that comes into this building is, is getting recycled. 
we've got expert graders who've been working um, with vintage clothing for, for over 10 years. They're looking at each product, looking at what can be uh, resold directly to us customers. But then we're also looking for items that are damaged that would be going into landfill that we can, we can send to a sewing factory. So everything's uh, selected, designed and handcrafted in-house in Barnsley, South Yorkshire. We look to minimise waste wherever we can. So the raw product is uh, used clothing. We'll then make a new product out of that, which is then uh, sold on his website or wholesaled to high street customers around the world. That'll then create offcuts. From those offcuts, then we shall look. We look to make hair accessories like scrunchies, uh, which we uh, which we retail and wholesale as well. So we try and minimise waste wherever we can. The waste that's then left over, that's where net zero is coming in. So we're looking at ways to use that excess waste that, that's left right to the end. And, and there's machinery and equipment out there that can help repackage that up and, and be sent to recycle companies then for um, turning into insulation for houses and things like that. But that, that's where we're getting the support from net zero. Net zero has been really beneficial so far. We're still at the really early stages of his journey with net zero. Um, but the, the carbon calculator has been absolutely brilliant to outline where we are as a business today in terms of what, what we're emitting as a business. Um, the, the, the seminars have been uh, great on, online and also at the business village and the, the coaching that we're getting is going to be a really big help as well and I'm, I'm excited about getting, um, getting stuck into that and delivering the outcomes that we've, we've just discussed this morning. I think Net Zero offers loads of benefits for businesses in Barnsley. It offers um, great insight into what you're doing currently as a business, which gives you room to look at then areas that you can improve on. The support available through um, coaching, through uh, seminars, and the carbon calculator is absolutely brilliant. It gives you a really good assessment of the, of the business and, and where you are. And I think it's important for businesses in, in South Yorkshire to um, be, be looking at ways to improve their uh, carbon emissions because I think South Yorkshire could be a, a place that's really pushing, pushing forward when it comes to recycling and, and, and green.